Hey y'all, today I'm talking about why they get mad because of your standards and or your preferences. So I thought about this before. I've experienced this before with different people in my life. I've also seen this all on social media, just from being outside, having clients. And it always made me wonder like, why do people get so mad because you got some stuff that they just don't agree about? And I've also been guilty about this myself. And the older I get, I see this behavior in people. I don't like it, so I watch myself. And if I see myself doing it, I hold off because to me it looked kind of messy. It looked like some bad boundary issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. So the first thing, and don't click off yet because the first one, control, you probably heard that before. But I got some other ones that you probably haven't thought about. And if any of this information resonates with you, don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel and I'll share this video with some other people that may like it and leave your comments below so the first thing is definitely control a lot of people that I worked with within domestic violence they had that a lot like their partner they couldn't they wouldn't allow them to go outside they couldn't wear their hair a certain way they couldn't wear maybe no makeup just a little um regular lip gloss or something they had to raise the kids a certain way and they were always putting them down. So people will do their things to you so you don't feel good about yourself. They want you to feel low because if you feel low, you're not going to leave them to find somebody else. Even a parent can do that to you. A parent that want to keep you close by so they can pull your strings and manipulate you. They're not going to want you to feel too good about yourself because you may go off and get married and have kids or forget about them. And even if they can still control you in the relationship you got with your family, that's fine, but they still don't want you to feel too great about yourself. They always want you to feel dependent upon them because if you feel dependent upon them, you come into them for advice so they get to put their little, um, their little sands or whatever they believe or whatever they want you to do, the mind control or however it is they want to manipulate you. They still got you. They can do that about you. They can do that about you, um, do that to you because you don't feel so great about yourself. Another issue with the control that I've seen is like where people want to, um, and I've seen this a lot with women, it's the strangest thing. They, If you say, oh, you're um, vegetarian or you're vegan or you're something, they or they or even you don't even mention it. And I, now this is something that I try not to really mention anymore with people. I used to do it a lot, but it's something new I'm trying not to mention anymore because at the end of the day, that's my preference and who cares what I'm eating or drinking. But the thing is, the thing, they shouldn't care, but some people do. Like you probably don't even mention that you got a certain type of diet you on a diet or you're only eating a certain type of food or whatever and they may notice it because these people some of these women I've seen it I don't know men that those of you that watch me let me know if you see it with men too they watch you and they see oh you're not eating meat oh you're not eating pork oh you're not eating this and then it's like they get offended do, do you wonder why you know you know how they get offended because their face change like for instance they could be like this all pleasant and next thing they are you don't eat meat oh but you won't eat pork oh you think you better than us oh so what is whoa you ain't saying nothing like that so where does that come from better so all of a sudden now they feeling judged that's one reason that people don't like your preferences it makes them examine themselves so instead of them just being like oh this person don't eat pork but i eat pork and i think it's okay no normal people who ain't got no issues around the food would do that but these people who got these issues maybe they heard something about pork maybe they heard that they shouldn't be eating it from a um religious standpoint and maybe it maybe they thought it was true but then they want to go against that and still want to eat their pork so now they see you doing it now they feel all judgy and guilty and you ain't even trying to make them feel judgy and guilty they see you ain't eating it you just trying to enjoy your meal you want them to enjoy their little pork belly sandwich or whatever because you ain't caring because you ain't eating it but now they got a problem with you or sometimes a woman may find out you on a diet and she feeling self-conscious about herself maybe she competing with you sometimes people be jealous they don't want to see you lose more weight than them if you a man you bulking up he don't want to see your boy don't want to see you bulking up they may think you're gonna get more men you know more girls in them or the other way around um get more um men in them or more women so they competing with you they don't want to see you do better because then they're like oh 
You know, we go out to the club, everybody gonna be looking at this. Or oh, oh, people are already looking at him or looking at her more than me. So now when we definitely go out and they looking better, getting their body better, get eating all healthier, their face glowing and stuff like that, their hair shining, they ain't even got no um, shea butter in it or no coconut oil and their face shining and everything like that. You know, they, this, these people sometimes be competing with you. So they don't wanna see you like that. You tell this person you on this diet or whatever, y'all. You, you go out with the person because you don't wanna be that person that just don't want to go out because you got a little standard about yourself trying to get your health together so you go out with your friend you tell them you know i'm only eating this you ain't making no big deal out of it they trying to order you all kind of um fatting and stuff sodas pop whatever you call it they bringing all the um onion rings the funion whatever it is but the thing is that they eating it by themselves okay that's cool you can't control what everybody else eating if you're on your diet but the problem comes in now they want to push their preferences off on you you already set that clear boundary i ain't eating this but now they want to keep on doing it i had that happen to me before me and this lady we were working years ago me and two ladies decided we wanted to go on a diet you know we we were doing all right then the other the two fell off and I was still going strong we went out to eat and then I'm just eating my own food I ain't judging her because she got her fries you know how they do they make up all the excuses oh this is my Friday and I'm gonna have this and I'm gonna have that and I'm like oh okay go ahead she got oh you should have it you should make yourself a Friday you should do this and do that I'm like I'm cool I this is what I mean oh but I'm doing this and you should do why and you know and even that I was trying to be nice but today I would have said something but the other lady at the table with me because i was dumb she said something she was like leave samira alone she got what she want to eat back off you know and i'm like yes oh my god why is this lady pushing her stuff on me one because she feeling judged something within her knew that she shouldn't been giving herself another free day she probably had cake the day before and was probably supposed to be getting back on the little diet little plan with everybody else but now she want to be upset like like she feeling judged or she saw that I was losing weight and she got a problem because she she wasn't losing no weight that week. So now, now she hating on me. And the thing is that these women, they, they'll do it. And I was like bigger than her, like 40 pounds bigger than her. And I'm like, why does she care what I'm eating? But that competition, whatever it is, that judgment, it just be so deep in people. I've had that even with skinnier women, you know, if we died in together, they, they constantly looking at my food. It, they want me to fall off my diet because they fell off of it. It's like, dang, live your own life. And of course, people that's competing with you, jealous or whatever, and I'm not saying that all this was jealous, it could have just been that competition and feeling judgment, but I noticed that when people are jealous of you, it's a very strong emotion, and they want to see people kill because of jealousy. People will try to destroy you because of jealousy, and a lot of times, I think we've all probably felt, I believe we've all felt jealousy in one point of our lives or multiple points but it's not it's frowned upon so people aren't gonna come out and tell you most people don't oh i was jealous and i didn't want to see you do better because i was competing with you people ain't gonna do that upon because if they do you know people gonna be like what you was jealous oh my god you shouldn't have that emotion you know treating them like they ain't human so of course they ain't gonna come out and tell you but the thing is it's like you gotta watch these type of people because I always think when, when I set up a boundary, a preference in my life and somebody else is mad, it always makes me, I, I ask myself, why does this person really care? See, this is where the, you got to start the, um, the analytical wheel or whatever you call it going in your head. Like, what does, what, what? what does it mean to this person if I do this? And then I start trying to break it down like, hmm, what is your real motive? Why are you real mad at me because of what I'm deciding to do? for myself you know sometimes you may decide that um if you got a child you may decide you only want to put you want to homeschool your kid you want to take them out of public school you want to put them in some type of private school you're doing what you feel is best for your family you probably got a um if you're a woman husband whatever your partner whatever going on you know y'all decide that you're gonna put your kid in a different type of school instead of your friends being like oh okay well let me know how that go you know whatever or best of luck to you that's what people like normal people with good boundaries around this topic would do people with bad boundaries 
Oh, here they come. They got something negative. Say, oh, well, you know that ain't going to work out well. Oh, people, you know, they ain't going to be socialized. They need to be around other people. This, this, and this, and this, this, and this. And then I'm wondering, and you know, and they, and it's like they're offended. And you, and then this one, I would have to break it down. Like, why do you care? Are you mad because maybe you and your, your husband don't have the resources to um, school from home? Are you mad maybe because you wanted to put your kids in a better school other than a little public school around the corner that's getting shot up uh, twice a year? You wanted to pull your kids and maybe you ain't got the money to do it? Like, why you mad? It's different if a person just asking you about it like, oh, how come you decided to do that? Oh, I heard this and this, you know, like, oh, okay, well, let, well, okay, well, let me know how it go. It'd be interesting to, you know, because I ain't really met nobody who, who did a long term, long homeschooling their kids. So let me, let me know, you know, but no, they're like the frown. That's the first time, you know, it's something personal. It ain't about you. It's about their issues. It's not about you. You ain't did nothing wrong. It's these people. That first they give you that stink face. Oh, you know, they, they dealing with some internal stuff. And now they just projecting that stuff out, out on you. Like, what the heck is going on? What's going on with these people? I even see the same thing like on some of these um YouTube. And it's only, I only see it done with black people. My white people, my other races, y'all let me know. Because I just see it with black people not all black people so don't put it in my comments follow along don't be hyper offended um but we're not with some black people online going back and forth about this gender war and stuff and it is so you know crazy making if you allow it and i have to ask myself like some women will get mad at men because men have standards like it's 2022 people know that it's biological that men um are visual creatures it's not really just a prefer a preference that they're visual it is what it is it's biological it is nature the most high the creator they were created this way okay it is what it is even though you don't like that for whatever reason and i would say analyze yourself and be truthful with yourself why are you mad so the thing is a man can say he want a woman this man may want a woman that's a 14 very thick this other one may want one that's very skinny zero two size two type model chick instagram chick hair flowing everywhere exotic one may like a with an afro one may like big breasts small breasts big hips whatever it is that he like then there will come along a woman who want to critique him on his his standards telling him oh well let's say if he like i'm skinny oh you're discriminating against big girls and you should try a big girl you ain't living until you got a big girl and that's just wrong of you you shouldn't be judging women like that you shouldn't just be so on the outward appearance you should give somebody else a try who and the person who would say that i would say who the hell are you why are you so bothered about what somebody else's th preferences well let's break it down if this is a bigger woman saying this is it because she truly got issues with her own body and by this man saying he don't like no big girl and make her feel bad about herself because she hasn't um even though she has an issue with her weight maybe she ain't done nothing about it or maybe she's tried to do some things about it and the weight ain't coming off maybe she got some other um health issues or whatever so now instead of dealing with her about her own body and her own insecurity now she want to take it out in this stank attitude on this man and being mad about him telling him how he ain't gonna prosper until he open up his arm expand his thoughts of what his dating pool should be like come on ma'am deal with your own issues and let this person live that's the thing sometimes i think we just gotta let people live instead of trying to control them and make them do what we want to do and it's the same thing that i've seen from some black men do in the on the on the line community and even in person to tell you the truth but even in person like a woman can say that she only wants to date a man if he makes a certain amount of money now and people want to act like oh she's a gold digger oh she's this if she is a gold digger what does it have to do with you what business if you ain't got gold and she digging for gold why you why you mad
You ain't got no gold. You're not, you, you're not what she want. So it'll be even men and women that'll come out and say, oh, if he working at McDonald's, you should take him. If he's sweeping the floor, you should take him. How you gonna tell somebody else what they should take? This woman probably got kids. This woman probably got certain stuff going on in her life. Maybe she making more than that. Maybe she got plans to travel. Maybe she want to put her kids in a certain type of school and the McDonald's paycheck ain't gonna do that. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a McDonald's paycheck, but I'm saying if, it's, if that woman don't want that she got a right to say she ain't want it then all these women come up even you ain't all that and the men too will try to tr knock her down you know try to be on their um they craziness what you look like what you did and my question is to them why you mad oh if you're a man are you mad because you probably working somewhere and she says that that's not for her but she ain't talking about you she just talking about the man or the men in her life but now you feel bad about your job at mcdonald's so now you got your drawers in a bunch and instead of saying okay she don't want a man who work at mcdonald's that's fine Maybe you don't want her no way, so why should you care? If she ain't somebody you want, you'd be like, okay, well, that's her preference. Because deep down, that man that work at McDonald's got a preference on what type of woman he likes. So why he gonna hate because this other woman got a preference? If he don't like the job he got, he need to do whatever he need to do to move on from his job. Move up. Maybe from doing fries to be the manager to owning you some places at the McDonald's. That does not have to be meaning that he is something defective, that something is wrong with him because somebody else said that they don't want that in a man. And that's where that like spirit of rejection comes in. It's like, oh my God, she said she don't want a type of man that only make 40000 to fifty k a year. That's what I make. So now I'm feeling bad because I don't make more than that and I maybe don't want to make more than that and I'm content with it. So now I'm mad. I'm not feeling good about myself about a man. No, you need to examine yourself. Maybe get you a therapist. Make you some higher goals. If you want to make that more money, maybe you need to take some other kind of classes go to school and do some trade you ain't got to be mad at this woman and i say the same thing to a female i've seen this some years ago this one lady was saying that she was okay with meeting men at mcdonald's and going you know for stuff like that and she didn't want a man to spend no type of money on her and some people were saying oh okay well that's good for you but she was talking to people like saying that other people should be okay with this too and other women were telling her no we are not going to the mcdonald's we are not doing that you know all these free dates and walking apart and people other people were getting mad and women like you should take whatever you get and if he giving you something you should be happy and blah 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 and my thing is is why was they mad because somebody else got a standard are you and and sometimes I think women do this because they trying to see trying to hope that other men will be in the comments and will see their comments and choose them like oh I think this woman is thinking internally like oh if I say that I don't want anything from the man and I'll eat out the garbage can with him if that's all, the only thing he'll give me then he's going to choose me over these other women who wants others who wants to go to a, a a restaurant or something or who likes to get flowers i don't want anything so maybe he's going to choose me because i don't really have a standard regarding anything material i'll say in a relationship so it's like no like back the heck off and it's crazy because these same women who will go after a woman because she got a standard i don't see them going after men because they got a standard if the men like short hair or long hair big breasts small breasts uh, i don't see these women saying nothing but they want to come after this woman and i say all this to, to say that people will make you want to um have no standards because it makes them feel better about themselves and they can get over like for instance if the woman if this bigger woman who wanted this man who only wants little women you know she's trying to get him to lower his standards so it'll benefit her she don't want to benefit him she wants him to bring his standard down and this way he can be like oh okay yeah 
and now he 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 questioning himself maybe she right maybe i do need to lower my standard maybe i can choose her who wins out of this he don't win unless you know he end up getting this relationship and she end up being everything he ever wanted or whatever but um, at the beginning she winning because now she done made this man question himself and now he done went from this standard up here to down here somewhere and now she like yeah i got him and people would gloat like that they're pretending to be all mad and upset and hurt really some of these people ain't mad and hurt it's just a manipulative tactic to to control you to make you do what they want because they know sometimes people nice, too nice, and don't want to hurt nobody. So they pretend to be upset, and then now all of a sudden, you, fall, you the, 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 um, their target falling for it. And now they're making all these kind of changes in their life, you know? And so it's like you got to be careful of some of these people. Instead of just always letting people um, make you, especially people in this community, you know, more. I find that um, have, have the quality of being nice maybe people pleasers and caring what people say you know you gotta always ask yourself why is this person mad because i set up a boundary or preference what if, if i if i did what they said how would that benefit them that's the question we should ask instead of just being like oh that person right i need to make changes i'm thinking too high of myself no it's like you got a right to think of yourself however you want to think of yourself you got a right to set whatever boundary and standard you want for yourself and people who don't meet that if your standard is here and if they can't come up here or meet that then that let you know that's not your target they need to go find their other people i think a lot of us times people feel rejected like oh you know if if this person wants this and i don't argue with it and they keep wanting that then that's going to mean that i'm people People like me are going to reject it, be rejected. And it's like, hey, there's going to be people out here to accept you for what you want. But you got to go find that thing that you want. So you, you got to be careful. Let, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe to these videos. Also, if you haven't got my books, it's in the description section. You can get those at Amazon. And have a great day. Bye.